Hello guys, it is Shivam here. Welcome to the brand new video. So on this video, we are going to simply cover how to connect the Flutter app to the Firebase for both Android and iOS with a latest version of the Flutter. So do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this channel. Now let's get started. Now here on this video, I'm going to simply show you how to connect the Android iOS app with a Firebase and how to run our first app in the Android real device. Yes, I'm going to show you how to run your first app in your Android real device and will also show you how to simply run the app in your iOS emulator, right? So here you can see that I've simply opened the VS code and this is our main.dart file as you can see. Now let's move to the Firebase because so we need to simply create our first project in a Firebase. So let's move to the Firebase and here I'll just write the project name which is test app. Yeah. And here I'll simply click to the continue button and we'll click on continue again and we'll use default account for Firebase create project. So as you can see that Firebase is preparing our project. So wait for a few seconds until it is done. I got a lots of comment in the comment box that there is some update in the flutter like they can't connect a android app with a firebase so that's why i'm simply making this video for you all because there is some update in the build.gedl file so that's why you can't see the exact folder or file where you want to simply paste all the data to connect the android app yeah so let's click to this continue button and we'll directly move to the firebase and here you can see that we can connect the ios android and web app so first i'm going to simply connect the android app and we need an android package name so for the android package name let's move to the android app build or giddle file and we need to copy this application id and we need to simply paste it something over here now here i want to simply tell you that if you are thinking that to upload this app to the play store then you can simply change your name or just keep your app name or company name so if you will write com.shivam.filmifun or any of the company name or different name rather than example then the play store will allow you to simply upload the app in com.example it will simply throw the error so i'm telling you that because if you are thinking to upload this app to the play store and you are adding a android package name over in the firebase then make sure that you simply change this because then you won't face any error to upload the app to the play store right so once we have done this thing now here we need to simply click on the register app button and download this google dash services.json file from here now we need to simply paste it in the android app folder so if you have any older file then simply remove that file and just rename the file to google services.json something like this and we'll simply paste it in android app folder something like this so once we have simply pasted this file now let's move to the firebase back again now click on next and here you can see that this is the id now as i have told you that in the comment box like i've already made 10 to 12 app series before on my channel and in some of the videos i keep on getting comment from different viewers like i can't find a class path in the android build.gedl file so you can see that according to the new flutter update that class path has been removed from the build.gedl file so there is a new path where you are going to add this plugin so i'll copy this plugin from here and we need to simply go to the setting.gedl now we don't need to move to the build.gedl because that class path has been removed from here in the flutter new update and we need to move to the setting.gedl and here in the id we need to just paste it here so in the plugin section you just need to paste this id and here is the way you are going to simply connect the app for your android device now here let's move and in the plugin section i need to simply copy this plugin and as you know that we need to simply go to the android app build or cradle and here we are going to simply paste that in the plugin because as you can see that now the latest version of flutter simply says that the flutter cradle plugin must be applied after android and kotlin cradle plugin so this is android and kotlin gradle plugin now we just need to add after the 
this plugin and all and we need to simply paste in the plugin section so this is the new update because you know that in the last update we are simply pasting that in the android folder inside this android command but there is now no option to simply paste that file so they have simply added a plugin section over here and here we just need to add this id i hope that this is the new version is the most easy version rather than the last version because in the last version there was thing like that we need to do lots of edit to simply add the code but in this new version they have made very easy like where to add the plugins and all i think so now it will be very cl clear for you all to how to simply connect the android app right now let's move back and here click to the next now you will think that why i'm not adding a dependencies but according to the new version of flutter we don't need to add dependency and all it is totally done automatically now click on next continue to the console so we have successfully added the android app now here comes the main thing now i'll simply teach you how to run your app in a real android device so for that first main thing is that you need to get a usb cable and you need to simply connect a usb cable with your android device yeah so i have connected my android device with a usb cable and once you have done this you can see my device screen at the right side and you just need to open a settings and move to the about phone section i'm using a redmi so that's why you can simply see that xiaomi hyper os version and here you just need to tap to the os version like three to four times and you will simply be a developer though i have simply tapped that before so you can see that it simply shows that no need you are already a developer yeah so now let's move back to the setting page and here we just need to simply search like usb debugging and in the debugging you just need to simply on this debugging thing like this is the setting you just need to simply on and you can simply accept all the condition there is no any danger it just simply shows that it is in danger so just click on ok once you have done now simply install one more option which is install via usb so this will help us to install the app in your real android device via usb so these are the two section that you need to simply on from the developer option so once you have done all this thing the going to device recognize my mobile so here you can see that my mac simply recognize this android device and it simply shows the android version before we run the app in the real android device we need to add some of the important lines in our main.dat file so here i'll simply move to the main.dat file and we'll just write a sync now we just need to write which it's flutter binding dot ensure initialized and here i need to add a firebase core package because the firebase core package will help us to integrate the firebase with our flutter app right so we need to copy the package from the perf dev website so let's move to the perf dev website and i'll just search firebase core over here and here this is the package that we are going to use so move to the installing now copy this package and simply paste in the perspec ml file yeah something like this and simply run this file in your vs code so here it is done now let's move back to our main dart file and here i need to add one more line which is firebase sorry firebase and we need to pass await firebase dot in slice app yeah so these are the two important lines that we need to just add to simply connect our flutter app with a firebase so do not forget to add these two lines let's move and here i'm going to simply run a command flutter run in the terminal to run the app in our real android device so as you can see that our build is successful and the app is installing and i have got a install recommendation in my android device so i'll click on install and it will frequently install this app on my android device so as you can see that we have successfully launched the app on our android device and now i can successfully use this app on my android device and can and make our first flutter app and you can see that how simply it is to 
connect your app with a real android device and run your flutter app with a firebase so this is a new update of the firebase and how to connect the app for android now let's move and i'll taught you how to connect the app for the ios so now for the ios connection let's move back to the firebase and we'll move to the firebase and click on add app button now i'm going to connect the ios device with the firebase so i click in ios option and we need a apple bundle id so to get the bundle id we need to move to the x code so let's open the x code from here so i'll just open the x code so once the x code is launched now move to the runner and here we need to move to the signing and capabilities now copy this bundle identifier from here and we need to simply paste it in the apple bundle id now click on register app and wait for a few seconds now download this google service dash info.plist file from here and we need to simply paste this file in the x code now simply open the file and remove the older file if you have and just rename the file as it is and we need to simply paste it below the info now click on finish and here it is done and we have successfully connect the ios app with a firebase so you can see that how fast it is to connect the ios app with a firebase now click on next next continue to the console so here you can see that i have successfully added the ios and android app and this is the way you can simply add a firebase in just a few seconds for both android and ios i have simply made this video because i got a lot of comment from a different viewers that there is a update in the flutter i am not seeing the exact file that i used to see before so i thought that let's make a video for you all to know that how to connect the android app with an ios app with a firebase so this is it from this video and if you haven't hit that like button then show your support by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this channel until then keep coding keep having fun i will see you next time thanks for watching